I think bringing the buffalo and native fruits and vegetables back into our daily lives is the next big step in the revival of the traditional culture. Impacting commercial fishermen along the coast of California and Oregon, Indian tribes along the river, and farmers in the Upper Klamath Basin. This crisis has put these three groups in conflict with each other. Two pilgrims on one side and two Indians on the other. And the one pilgrim said to the other one, he says, offer them whiskey, we can steal the whole country. And the one Indian says to the other one, he says, offer them gambling, we'll buy it all back. <laughs> They say Indian reservations could produce half of present U.S. installed electrical consumption. We are the richest and most powerful country in the world. We have no absence of resources or technology to do the right thing. What we have is an absence of a political will. They call themselves iron workers. Kanawake Mohawks came to work during New York City's construction boom in the 1920s. They helped build the Empire State Building, Rockefeller Center, the United Nations, and the Verrazano Bridge, to name a few. This is an American story. It is told many times with different faces, but always advancing wave upon wave toward that further promised shore of equality. This is their story, the Alaska Native's nonviolent struggle against racism. an epic history of America. <laughs> Seen through native eyes. Too remarkable. Too inspiring. To ever forget.